Howdy YouTubers, update on housing renovation issues. Homemade insula attic insulation baffles. Uh, you can buy these at Home Depot, uh, Lowe's, etc. They're made out of that really thin uh, egg carton styrofoam that breaks. Uh, and in addition, you have to staple them right to the underside of the roof sheathing. Well, if your roof is old and you're going to replace it shortly, and you're going to replace that sheathing, some of it, when you pull that sheathing up, all your insulation baffles will disappear. Um, this house is that old. They'll prob I'll probably be doing the roof here shortly, within a few years. And installing insulation baffles, I want to install them on the roof trusses so that when the sheathing comes off from the outside, it doesn't tear all the baffles away. Um, I did some renovation work uh, in a couple of the rooms upstairs, and while the drywall is down, I figured I'd go ahead and put these uh, these baffles up. Uh, the baffles are made of corrugated plastic, uh, like that signage stuff you put on your front yard. This is inch and a half foam that's been run through the table saw to make a standoff, uh, so there's a gap between the roof sheathing uh, that allows the, the, the ventilation to happen. These mounting tabs on the side are made up of deck flashing, vinyl deck flashing, uh, like this, and they're bent, they're bent, the nice angle is put on them on the bending brake. The corrugated plastic, the standoff, and the vinyl flashing is held in place by staples. And the staples are actually homemade. These are the big staples that hold the uh, um, the, insul the standoff on the back side, and these are the small staples that hold together the uh, that hold together the uh, uh, the mounting tab, vinyl, and the corrugated plastic. These are just made with uh, wooden jigs uh, that you can build from scrap wood and uh, C clamps, so they're not that complicated. This is actually just bent over uh, a two by four right there. Uh, inch and a half by inch and a half, and I do believe these are a little bit longer than that, probably two or something like that, so that they can be felt fold, folded under uh, to create to hold the standoff in place. Now there's another part of this too, which is the part that goes up next to the uh, the, the soffit vent. Um, and the reason that I went ahead and did this is because this particular house has virtually no eave. Uh, in order to save money, uh, they're starting to do away with houses with eaves, which is a mistake because the eave is like an umbrella. The bigger your umbrella, the, the, the drier your house, and the less likely there is water to get behind the siding and the cracks and, and cause damage, etc. Um, but because there are no eaves, uh, the roof truss comes down to right above the interior wall and there's very little insulation there. Um, and unless you do something to uh, bow it out over the wall, and I'll, I'll take you up and show you the installation here, um, but you can see this flexible section. This is actually uh, uh, G, G, F, G, A, F, uh, Tiger Paw. Uh, underlayment for roof and it makes a really nice flexible and then of course you've seen that from the bigger we've got the standoff we've got the mounting tab uh, and we've got this 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 flexible section and we'll run you up and show you uh, what that looks like on the inside of the house so you kind of get an idea of uh, oh while we're standing here uh, the corrugated sheets of plastic uh, you can buy them uh, 10 sheets uh, 4 feet by 8 feet sheets from uh, Home Depot, uh, and they're about 110 bucks, I think, for 10 sheets of 4x8. Okay. Up in the room. Now you can see why the flexible section is necessary because it goes in at top of the roof and it will hold the insulation. Eventually there'll be drywall. There'll be drywall up here and blown in insulation like there is on this backside. And the roofing or the baffles, the baffles will prevent the insulation from plugging up the soffit vents 
and it will allow a channel of air to go up to keep moisture and uh, heat uh, uh, in the attic to a minimum. Uh, and that's why you put the baffles in. And these extra duty baffles are because there's very little eaves and I want to make sure that uh, there's some insulation above the wall. Um, and because there are no eaves, the baffles will help greatly to prevent ice damming um, because the heat from the wall that gets up above the, the heat, sorry about that, but the heat of the wall that goes up through here won't go into the roof and melt the snow that's up there. It'll kind of deflect and go uh, uh, up the up the baffle too, so that will help prevent ice dams uh, should they occur. Anywho, that's it. Thank you very much. Talk to you later.